Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberbikes. And you know, I'm here to talk about why I haven't been posting so many videos of Bafang conversion bikes. So in the past, when we began, was conversion after conversion and things were getting crazy in, in a good sense. But what happened is uh, we now have those production bikes. Some of you already know because you have been to cyberbikes.com and you saw our production models. And, uh, but some of you, the other part, doesn't know that we have production models like uh, I would not say mass produced bikes, but we can put these bikes on the streets at a large scale in comparison to conversions. So usually those people who come to us looking for a Bafang conversion bike, they are enthusiasts or they have been searching about it or they saw someone riding and they came to the person and inquired. So it's more like a word of mouth and many of those people coming for Bafang conversions, they are male, they are men, looking for an extra performance when doing trails or they really wanna go fast. And so our goal as a more mature individual, as a, as a, as a person that loves e-cycling and I understand how it works. Also many, uh, the guy who helps me here at Cyberbikes, many is a environmental uh, environmental biologist so we work together to make cycling more popular so uh, it's difficult to push Bafang bikes to the mass public women or let's say people that have low mobility or people that don't understand the gears of the bike there's like some of you like the the gear shifting uh, saga has been like one of the great uh, success of cyber bikes because we understand we repair we build I have studied it so but it's difficult to make it uh, stick in, in, in the mass uh, in the masses you know in the vast majority of the population so we are in a very niche market working with Bafang and conversions and our goal is to have more people cycling e-bikes because we know uh, e-bikes they are at least when i say at least i'm saying i get a 750 watts bafang motor at maximum power 52 volts maximum power uh, in a commute you know five ten kilometers you know and compare that with a car that bike is at least 50 times uh, uh, more economic in energy okay because to run the car you know to drive the car you require energy gasoline in the tank so we know that cycling is cycling is a way of transportation that actually saves the environment because it requires less energy to move you around. And thinking on that, our main goal is to make e-bikes more popular and make e-bikes replace cars. How can we do that? If we increase reliability. And if you guys like it or not, uh, we have data here from the shop. You know, I have been having the shop for a long time uh, that Bafang mid drives or, or mid drives in general, they require more maintenance than hub motors. So our production bikes, which is the thing that I have been focused now that many and I and our team, our marketers, um, or, or advisors, you know, we are focusing on mid uh, on pardon on hub motor bikes, ah, Felipe. But mid drives, because mid drives are harder to to make people understand how they work, and they give you more maintenance. Oh, but I know how to change the chain. I I, I know how to change the cassette. I know how to change the gear cable. I know how to align the gears and tune. Great, congratulations. I'm your fan. I like you. The problem is 
the vast majority of the world outside our niche doesn't know that doesn't know they just want to jump on the bike and boom go so we have been designing the bikes and working with big manufacturers to bring a bike that's jump on it and go and the bike doesn't break down and it lasts for 5,000 kilometers until you need uh, to kind of stop the bike and do some service uh, the only maintenance that we want our customers to do is some sort of maintenance that you do in your car which is pumping up the tires yeah and in this case lubricating the chain so you lubricate the chain here like two turns with a bit of oil maybe two turns like i did that's it lubricate see you in 5,000 kilometers why now getting back to the bike this production model for example this is the pepito okay pepito is a 20 inch fat bike so it's very comfortable it has suspension on the seat post uh it has many features on it that makes this bike more durable and we pay more from the components we install the time we do it here in australia we don't simply get a bike from china which is the manufacturing hub of the world thank you for the chinese uh we don't simply let them do everything when the bike arrives in australia is when we put our knowledge on it and then we bring the bikes to the market so when you buy a cyber bikes you are owing a product that will take you further that's the the thing that you won't need to see the workshop in the next 5000 kilometers with this is what we are planning the maintenance for uh one of the main features you know are the upgraded brakes so we have big disc brakes with performance brake pads in a hydraulic system what does that mean that means that i don't see you in the next 5000 kilometers so sometimes you buy a bike that is uh pricey you know let's say five six ten thousand australian dollars and you end up going to the workshop every thousand kilometers this bike here is four thousand dollars and i don't want to see i don't want to see because i won't see you know you in five thousand kilometers so we made the brakes last a long time okay and the brakes are essential on these bikes another feature is you want to know where your e-bike is at any given time isn't it so these bikes here they have a built-in gps tracking device ah oh, but i can use an air tag i can yeah but they don't work like our gps tracker works you can really track the bike every 30 seconds you have a new location the gps lasts for more than a month powering without the main battery giving you the location every 30 seconds you can even make it last more if you reduce the time like an air tag you know air tag you need to have another phone close to the air tag and it's like a bluetooth thing and doesn't give you the precise location so and it comes built into the bike if you have many other bikes you can add them to your network if you have a car we can make your car inside of the network so if you have a family if you have kids we can start tracking the vehicles to give you what you want which is peace of mind simple as that you want to invest money in a bike like this and know that you are securing the bike because honestly i've had about 16 e-bikes stolen and i recovered 10 of them using our gps tracking device after that i said you know what all the bikes that are manufactured will have a gps tracking device and simple as that so you are getting a state-of-art bike great design built-in battery performance brakes gps tracker and uh, is a bike that will last a long time ah what about power this bike here on off-road mode peaks more than a thousand watts okay so it's a bike that's very robust that if you're doing off-road 
I mean, light off road, it's not a mountain bike, but it can easily put you 45 kilometers an hour. Uh, it has lots of torque, so any person with uh, lots of mobility or not, you know, impaired, impaired person can ride this bike easily. And um, it's a bike that came to change uh, the, the perception that, oh, it's a very peculiar niche. Oh, no, 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 anyone can jump on this bike and true, simply ride and, and be happy and be successful and uh, cut their commuting time, uh, um, cut costs, because it's difficult to buy a car for $4,000. And then every year you have registration, you have um, compulsory third-party insurance, uh, you have your own insurance, um, fuel price, uh, like one day, if I had, for example, where I live to where I work is about 10 kilometers. Every day that I drive, considering that I have parking here in the building and I have parking at home, free parking, uh, just the gasoline that I put in my car, I'm not considering all the costs, all the documentation, to have the car legally running and then maintenance, which is another thing, changing oil, changing filters. Um, I do lots of stuff in my car, but uh, some people pay the mechanic, which increases even more the costs. Uh, and like just in gasoline, you know, is about seven to eight dollars a day just driving. In my car, maybe some of you, my car is 2.4 liters engine. So it's an engine that's not the biggest. It's a four cylinders, 2.4 liters. So it's it's not the biggest, it's not the smallest, you know? It's like in the average there. And I'm spending about $8 a day if I drive, when I drive. So get a big car, a V8, for example, you know? Uh, or a uh, six cylinders, you know, or a turbo car, a sports car, or whatever car, an SUV. So you're gonna be spending more than that, at least more, like maybe double than that. So on an e-bike, on the, the bike that I ride, which I showed you guys in the video, I will tag the video here, uh, which is uh, how to extend the range of the electric bike. Also how to, gear sh uh, how to shift gears on the electric bike. I use the same bike, so I'm riding that bike every day and I spend more or less 20 cents of dollar per day. 20 cents of dollar per day versus $8 per day. It's like, it's huge difference. And I'm considering only the uh, refilling costs, okay? Which is going to a petrol station, putting gasoline in the car, or getting my bike and charging it with electricity from the grid. So it's huge. The amount of energy a car consumes today is, man, it's it's unbelievable, you know. And that that energy is, in my mind, how I see it, is resources taken from the earth, from the planet. So there is no way we are uh, taking resources and using, 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 using without causing any damage, any drawback in the environment or in the climate or in the availability of those resources. So just think about that. We have to come with a e-bike that is low maintenance and powerful and uh, provide all the safety features that you would like to have on a vehicle that replaces your car. And that's why we have our production models, in this case, Pepito. And for those who have watched it till the end, I'm gonna do a giveaway. We have now the Cyberbike socks and they are great. I use them every day. They are great. They are Australian made. Um, I think it's important to support the community. You know, uh, it all, so we could have imported them from China or from other countries in Asia. Uh, but in this case, we decided to manufacture the socks here in Australia and uh, we are going to give a pair of socks for those who are in Australia and comment in your videos. Hey, send me a pair of socks. We're going to give away two pairs of socks for now. But 
if it becomes very successful and many people ask we might send more socks away okay so if you watch till the end i'm giving away two pairs of socks for anyone living in australia free shipping everything included we just want to see you smile maybe if you can send a photo back with the socks we highly appreciate that so if you have watched the video to the end know the giveaway comment below hey i want my pair of socks i want my cyberbike socks and we're gonna get in contact with you and we're gonna send you the socks so stay tuned for more i will come again to the board here to the to the bench to talk more why like technically speaking why we are going with hub motors instead of mid drive so stay tuned for more and bye